Good morning, everyone. I really feel in my bones today is going to be a good day. My mother used to say things like that. <laughs> in her bones. James 5 verse 16 says, Therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Um, the prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. So yeah, there's a confirmation of prayer. I've always used to, you know, pray for one another and that. Um, the trick is when you're confessing your sins. So um, there are some churches that say you have to go and stand up in front of the congregation and confess your sins and how evil you are and all that kind of thing. And um, I think you must be careful who you confess your sins to, other than Jesus, of course, and, and, and allow Holy Spirit and the Lord to, to help you. But I don't think you should be going to confess your sins willy-nilly to anybody who would listen. <laughs> because sometimes they're listening not to serve you as a um, fellow Christian, but to um, reprimand you as a self-righteous person. So, yes, confess your sins, but choose who you confess your sins to. Sh choose somebody that will... Reprove and reprimand you through the word of God um, or correct you. Um, choose somebody who, with love, then um, sorry, I didn't see if it was still going. <laughs> sorry. Choose somebody who, with love, will then give you hope. You know, that, that love of God is so important to a sinner. Because that love of God is what lifts you up out of your state of frustration or hurt or pain at the end of the day. That love of God is what gives you the energy and the strength to carry on. So if you go to somebody and all they're going to do is use your sin to gossip about you, then you're in trouble. But if you go to somebody, and I have one or two people like that, that I can truly trust as my darkest and innermost. And no, I haven't killed anybody. Not physically. But I have hurt some people. And sometimes, you know, um, you you are this person who does devotionals for God. And, and there's a certain kind of joy that as I do them, even on my darkest days, even when I'm not feeling good, when I sit here in front of this camera and I speak to you and I, I look at I picture you in my mind listening on a on a in a car uh, on a train in a in South Africa we have these taxis I, I picture that not not because these thousands of people listen to me but it's just it it must be valuable to those people and I come across as always joyful but you don't know what is bubbling in the background what is hurting my heart today you don't know what switched me off and and gave me pain yesterday but what you do know about me is that there's this constant understanding of God but I have to constantly seek to understand God every day of my life I can't just now go and go now I know who God is um, because tomorrow I might feel a little sad again so I want to just encourage you to know um, that God is always there, even in your darkest moment. And you don't have to be perfect. But it's those darkest moments, those things that you create that are possibly not um, coming from a good place. And, and you've got to confess that. That confession of sin. Find yourself somebody who you can trust. It's very important. But not somebody who is going to use it against you. Somebody who's righteous and is going to go and pray to God because their prayers are from a righteous heart that wants to bring completeness and wholeness and healing so that you can do God's work. Um, and whatever that is, is it through your work? Is it through doing something like I'm doing? Is it through encouraging your family, your children, your husband, your parents, um, your siblings? Your cousins, <laughs> I've got wonderful cousins. What is that? What is that valuable thing you do for God? Ask your righteous prayer partner to pray with you. 
And I pray today that you find comfort and peace. Because what as because when you give your heart to God, you're already righteous. And then your prayer is powerful. Have some powerful prayer time today and we'll speak again tomorrow.